There is no specific design trend today that we are unpredictable. Consumers are unpredictable. We like everything. We like a lot of variety. Uh, we want quality and we want more for our money. So they're beginning to upgrade everything. For example, sofas are having more detailing, which I'll get into next week on some of the reports. Everything is beginning to be done with more concern for making it worth the consumer's dollar because dollars are getting and they need to think about it. I was going to say, do you find people would be less apt to, uh, well, how should I put that? You know, when you first start out, you buy less expensive furniture with hopes that someday replacing it a little bit at a time. And now some people I find today are buying one piece at a time that they know they'll have forever. I think there are two types of buyers. I think some people do buy it because they want to keep it forever. but. For the most part, I think the average person does not really think they're going to keep their furniture that long. They replace about eight years. All right. What will we be seeing in the next four weeks, some of the outlines? We're going to be seeing what's new in sofas, what's new in the various case goods. I'm going to educate your people to understand what case goods means. Mm -hmm. And just all the different trends in colors and fabrics and everything. Okay. Nancy Hennessy, Fingers Furniture, back from market. And in the next four, week, four weeks, you'll see the latest trends and the new styles for the uh, early 1980. And we thank you for joining us this morning. You know, if you already have furniture, one of the important things is maintaining it.